Bruce Pearl joins us, Continental Tire Coach's Corner. Continental Tire, proud to be the exclusive tire of the Dan Patrick Show. No matter where you drive, what you drive, Continental has a tire for you. The Auburn head coach, Bruce Pearl. How are you today? I'm good, Dan. I'm good. I'm tired. Um, I wish we were still playing. Uh, I wish I was still in Minneapolis, but uh, we're blessed. How are you? I'm good. I um, I had no problem with the call on Guy. It was the double dribble that everybody missed. I'm curious in the moment, did you see that? Because I didn't see anybody arguing or being upset with the double dribble on uh, Jerome. Yeah, I, I didn't see it either. Um, uh, you know, Bryce Brown was pressuring and contained the ball, and we knew we wanted to try to get a foul because we had two to give. And, uh, gosh, when I saw the disruption in the play, uh, I assumed that Bryce must have deflected it. Uh, but, obviously, Ty Jerome just lost it, picked it up, dribbled it again. And uh, at that point, I was just glad they hadn't got a shot off. I was glad we executed the foul, and we were, you know, 1.5 seconds closer to advancing. Classy of you after the game. You didn't rip the officials, but how tough was that? Um, fortunately, there was a long walk from the court um, <laughs> to the microphone, you know, and, 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 and w- 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 your first reaction is, you know, obviously what my first reaction was like, you got to be blank and kidding me. Um, and, but I think at some point pretty quickly, I recognized that um, I had a responsibility as a leader, as a coach, as a, as a teacher, as a father to do the right thing in that situation and, and make sure my players understood it was the right thing. Because I promise you, Dan, what I'm doing right now is I'm sitting there thinking about I did not have a great offensive game plan. I didn't do a very good job of taking advantage of their high ball screen hedges. Um, you know, there were some things that I could have done better that, that are haunting me a little bit uh, the last couple of nights of sleepless nights. Trust me, not the last call. You worry about what you can control. You do. You don't worry about what you can't control, and I can't. Yeah, I well. Speaking of control, um, what play did you think Auburn was going to run uh, on the play that Guy got or Virginia uh, when he got fouled? Oh my gosh, uh, Dan! I took an easel the board and I drew a line from the inbound passer to that corner. To that corner. And it wasn't just one line. It was back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. This is where the ball's going. So I took Austin Wiley, who is my biggest player with my longest win span, and I put him on the ball but angled to that corner. But, but, but because of the way the floor is built and there's much more room on the sidelines, the inbound passer was able to step back further and actually have a passing lane mm. to that corner, kind of very much like at Vanderbilt. And I actually got beat at Vanderbilt the very same way. And so the, 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 the way the court was built made the advantage to throw the ball there. Now, they did a good job of faking a lob and slipping the shooter to the corner. And my, my call for my defense was to switch everything, to switch out and switch everything. We, we did not. We stayed attached. And as a result of staying attached, we, we, we challenged late. Yeah, I was wondering, you know, Guy hit the big three-pointer from the other corner, and I didn't know if you were going to try to take him. I know they have other weapons, but I didn't know if you were just going to say, Guy is not going to be the guy who beats us, no pun intended. Right. Well, what they did on that play and the other two plays, they're very similar. They back-screened him with two bigs. So, in other words, in that back-screen, if you're switching, it's going to take one of your bigs and force that big to go out on, on a challenge. And, and, and instead, we stayed connected, which is what we had been doing. And, and so, Samir Doughty is our best on-ball defender challenge. And he's shot. He's got great length, and he's slippery. He's hard to screen. Um, but, but listen, but, and, and you're making – these questions are making a great point. Virginia did make those two plays. Yeah. We had made – look, we made a 14-0 run in the last five, four minutes of that game to kick a two-point lead. But we also didn't do we, – we missed a free throw. They made a three. We fouled a three. We made three mistakes. They made three plays. And that's, how they get, and that's why they're still there. And, and, and you've got you to take your hat off to them. That does not take much away from Auburn's historic run to the final four, a road travel that was as challenging as any ever to get to the final four. And, and, and put our basketball program and our university on the map. I'm on the Dan Patrick Show on Monday morning of the Final Four. 
Okay? You talk about arriving? Please. You going to watch the game tonight? I, I think so. Well, wait. What's that mean? You either are or you're not. If it's on and well, you walk by, you'll go, oh, what, what's on? I might not watch it because it's because it might be just pain I don't want. Um, you know, I'm very, very happy for Tony and for Chris and for their programs, but I don't, I don't know that I will, I don't know that I will watch it because, because um, I just, uh, it's not, it's not necessarily going to be productive and it won't be entertaining. Talking to Bruce Pearl, Auburn head coach, joining his Continental Tire Coaches Corner. Uh, Main Cabin Masters is on at the same time. Very relaxing, soothing. You could probably. <laughs> Million dollar listings, Los Angeles. There's other shows to watch that I might recommend. You know, <laughs> I might take my wife out to dinner, and uh, and and we might celebrate our season. And and uh, um, I may just not even watch television tonight. How's that? Did you realize what she goes through? They had the camera on her. I, you know, because yeah. you at least can help control what the outcomes. She was just there right. on the sidelines, and you could just see, you know, she was an emotional wreck with that. Yeah, I, I outkicked my coverage, didn't I? <laughs> oh, my God. I went, wait, is that, that that's Pearl's <laughs> wife? <laughs> I, I'm telling you, that's why there's hope for everybody. If a dog like me can be in the Final Four and have a beautiful wife like that, I'm telling you, there's, there's hope. You know, um, one of the greatest things about doing this and doing this is, is you think about your life's greatest experiences, whether it be the birth of a child or special moments, you share them with your, with your closest friends and your family. And so the road to the Final Four, this run, you know, we've shared them with, you know, my son is on my staff. I, I love my coaches for tolerating me because, you know, because I can be a, a, de- a demanding boss. Um, and then as far as your family is concerned, you're right, you put them through all that emotion. Um, and, um, and, you know, but guess what, Dan, at the end of the day, you still, I'm still bringing home a decent check a lot better than what I brought home when I was in division two or, a, or an assistant for 14 years. And so, uh, you know, sh- you know, sh- sh- that, that, that might help ease the pain. Who wins tonight? Uh, I think Texas tech is the better team because they're deeper. I think the way Texas tech guards, and how they switch out on a lot of different things. They've got a lot of different parts. I think uh, uh, Hunter's got to have a big game for them. They're, Virginia's inside kids need to have a big game for them because Texas Tech will switch out on those shooters and make it difficult for those kids to catch and shoot. Virginia beating Purdue the way they did in a miracle, beating us the way they did in another miracle. You know, if you believe you know if you believe things you know like happen in threes, then um, you know then maybe Virginia's you know, going to finish the job in, in this incredible run. But Texas Tech, I think, is the better team. I could just see the headlines in Virginia. Pearl, sour grapes, picks Texas Tech to beat Virginia. <laughs> <laughs> well, listen, you know what? That's why, seriously, for one second, that's why you have a, you have a job to do. Your job is to entertain and make people laugh. But your, your job is to try and get it right. I know you. there's one thing to have an opinion but it's another thing sometimes when in, in the news things get just reported so falsely because you know what? People listen to you, and they believe what they hear. Sometimes they believe what they read, and that's why I appreciate you and the job that you've, you know, that you've always done because you've, been, you've always been able to make me laugh, but you've, but you've always, you know, you're, you're accurate, and you try to be accurate, so I appreciate that. Thank you, Coach. Enjoy the off season, okay. and uh, we'll talk to you soon. Okay, look forward to it, Dan. Thank you. That's Bruce Pearl. Auburn head coach, Continental Tire, Coach's Corner. For more Dan Patrick Show, tune to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV or download the Dan Patrick Show app.